Hey guys, welcome back to JNix. Well, it finally happened. PSA got me. Um, it was trending that direction. I should have seen it coming, uh, but I didn't expect it to happen this way. Uh, so I'm going to go through. I'm on my PSA account right now, and I don't have these cards in hand. I actually just got the grades, you know, the grade reveal today. And so I wanted to go over some of these because I was pretty shocked on some of the grades, to be honest. Um, I don't expect to get tens on everything. I don't even expect on a lot of this, um, a lot of the vintage stuff to even get tens on, say, 10% of the cards. Um, but I also don't expect to get fives and sixes. And so with, <laughs> I'll, I'll just kind of start up here at the top. And then I will talk through some of my thoughts and just kind of see what you guys think in the comments. But I do have a theory, and I have a theory about this particular sub. Now, um, while I go through this, I'm also going to go and I'm going to show you my previous submissions. So I've got a spreadsheet here with previous submissions. Uh, so like submission number one, where I've done some some of the like similar vintage cards, like same years, maybe even same sets, maybe even the same exact card, where I've graded it in two different submissions. Um, and then I've got all of the grades and I've even done like an average grade, you know, for, for these 35 total cards. So, so this first submission, 35 total cards, 8.71 is the average grade. Uh, so not like bad, but that was probably one of the worst submissions that I've made, but it was also one of the first like, um, vintage, like true vent and really not vintage, just like nineties. You know, I've got three 1980 cards in here, but mostly like mid to late 90s, early 2000s. Um, so, and I had a few of the newer ones like 2018, 2012 was mixed in, but for the most part, it was 1997 through 2003 for the most part. Um, anyway, that was the submission number one. Uh, the latest submission that I got grades on, I actually got those grades a couple of days ago. Uh, these we actually ended up with an average grade of 9.06. And this was, it was really all over the place. You can kind of see there's like, there's some hockey, there's basketball, there's football. Um, we've got, you know, late 90s, ended up with a Dirk Nowitzki, they ended up with a 10. Uh, Travis Kelsey, we've got a Travis Kelsey rookie in here, they ended up getting a 10, you know. Uh, but the Jeter SP foil, we know that's a tough grade, seven. That I can, you know, can live with that. I know that's a tough, tough card to grade, you know, or to a tough card to get like a high grade. Um, got a H Bryce Harper 2012 Tops Chrome 10, you know, so we ended up with a handful of 10s in this one, which really saved the submission. Um, however, every single Jordan was either a nine or an eight, it didn't matter, it was a nine or an eight, didn't matter what it was. Um, although. This one is awesome. Earl Hersheiser, 1985 tops, 10. So for all of you out there that say vintage won't gem, it, you're wrong. I got a 1985 tops to gem, and I got two nines on top of that. So I was getting better grades on an 85 Hersheiser than I was getting on 95 you know, upper deck Jordans. So take that for what you will i have a preview i have another video posted about you know my thoughts on the kobe jordan pop control so these are two submissions that i want to compare and and psa submission number two is the one that we're talking about today and that's the one where i can go in i'll show you these in my order and i'll show you what i've discovered so we're going to start here in in the spreadsheet and so i knew that a lot of these were going to be like flyer type type card submissions. I knew that if we get a 10 on any of these, it's going to be massive, probably pay for the entire order, you know, and so forth. If we, if we were to get a 10, I'll also say this, I've been very meticulous in curating every PSA submission that I, that I do. Um, I might have a card here or there where it's like a, a PC card that I want, like a Tony Romo rookie or a, you know, uh, Ronald Acuna or some base rookies that really don't, I mean, if they get a 10, they're worth 40, 50 bucks. I'll, I'll submit those. I don't mind doing that because I, I like, you know, even if those cards get a nine, I'm not overly disappointed. Um, but when I go through and I have multiple cards, like these 1997 ultra gold medallions, 99 ultra gold medallions, I have multiple Kobe's. 
I submitted multiple cards, okay? So I took the best of the best. I know that if any of these gem, it's going to be a big, it'll be a big card, you know, at least, you know, considering it'll go from 25 to 500, right? So here we are. Uh, you can see in the spreadsheet, we've got 99 Ultra, you know, Kobe. We've got three of them here. Um, we got a seven, a six, and a six. All right. So I can go back and I can go through probably 600 cards that I've already graded, like since last year, just in the last 365 days. And I can find one six. One six. Damar Hamlin completely die cut like select rookie card okay um so the die cuts i know like that's we, we all know like die cuts that's they're just tough to grade uh well these cards are not die cut they're from 1999 they're not 1985 they're 1999 so let's go to the psa order and let's look and see what happened all right and i'm gonna help i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of just set the tone here for this video so here it is, this is the seven, and you can see this, this cool little zoom in tool that they use, a little magnifying tool, right? So we can kind of go over the edge, you know, the top edge on this die cut's not so bad, right? And I know these medallions are gonna be a tough grade. I know it. But that top, the top looks pretty decent, right? Like that looks, that looks pretty good. It's not until we get to the bottom where we start realizing like, okay, Something is up. Like, what happened there on the bottom of the card? It just keeps going. Like, what happened right there? I use a magnifying glass. So I use a, a magnifying glass with an LED light. I look at the entire card front and back before I submit it. Now, would I submit it if I saw maybe this next to the sock? You bet. Would I submit it maybe if I saw... Those three dings, probably not. For sure not submitting it with this. And definitely not submitting it with that. Okay? So what this does, this sets, this sets it up, right? Because now, what am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying that's either, one, not the card that I sent in. Or, two, the other option is... Whoever graded this card mishandled it. Total possibility, human element, get it. Um, but as we go through, I'm gonna go through some more of these and I, I really want your thoughts on this because I have a theory and my theory is, I think they had a scanner to scan these cards in and you guys have probably seen those commercials. Like if, you're, if you sell cards on eBay or you, you scroll through your social media and everything, you're gonna see that they have like these scanners where it just scans like 500 or 1,000 cards an hour, right? And you can put them in, you'll see them where they do them with top loaders, you'll see them where they do them raw, you'll see everything, right? I think these PSA guys have those scanners. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Now, do some of them maybe scan with the sleeve on the card? I would hope so. Um, I don't think they could scan with a top loader or it really you don't even send them in the top loaders. You send them in the semi-rigid. So ideally they cut them out, they use the card in the sleeve and they run it through the scanner that way. Because you have to go through, you gotta confirm, like that's the way the PSA order process works. It's, you know, you, you're gonna get images of your cards front and back, confirm they're yours, right? I think because when they do that, you definitely don't get an image like this. You're not, you're not gonna be able to see it like this. Not like you can in the slab. It's a little more distorted. It's almost like they, it's almost like they did take a picture or a scan it through the semi-rigid. It's, it's what it seems like to me. However, when, when I look at this Kobe and I see the bottom and I know how meticulous I am, all right? Sure, one of these might slip through the cracks. Maybe even two, all right? Let's check out. Let's just pick a random card. How about that? Let's go, we'll scroll down. Let's look at Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. And we'll even pick a random one. So let's go one, two, three. 
Let's, uh, we won't do the sticker because I really need it to be a card. Uh, we'll just pick the top one. All three of them got sevens, so it doesn't matter. They're all three sevens. Let's take a look. All right, so we're going over the top. And by the way, these hulks, the hulks were perfect. I mean, we'll just look at the back. Look at these cars. I mean, the corners are nice. Edges are nice. Everything looks great. Everything. Okay? I mean, this was a really, really nice 1985 Hulk Hogan card. Let's go to the front, and I want, I want you to see what I've been seeing. You see how that gets a little dicey down there? really gets dicey right there really dicey and now it is like completely chewed up you see that I'm not submitting a card that looks like that let's go to the second one take a look at this one same thing top looks good little little corner right there like that's you know, and I remember when I submitted these, I knew I submitted three of them that were like two blue, one yellow. Knew I submitted those. I knew I had one that had a chance for, for to gem. Knew it. And I thought the other two would kind of be like it, it could go like seven, eight, nine, or eight, nine, ten. It could be eight, eight, nine. It, it, I knew that that was probably what was going to happen. Definitely didn't think they would all three get the same grades. All right. Now let's check the bottom. Let's see what we're looking at on the bottom. Oh, right off the bat. A little dicey. Here, let me scroll up. This will help. A little dicey across that bottom, isn't it? And you get over here. I mean, it's all across the bottom. It's just the bottom. Let's go to the third one. Let's go to the yellow one. All right. This was the one I actually thought was the, was the better of the three. Um, centering looks great. It slightly off center, but not not anything crazy, right? All right. Well, let's just go straight to the bottom of this one. Whoa! I mean, that's immediate. Immediate. You you can see it right there too. It doesn't appear on the back of these, and I think it's just because there's no, it's just kind of that raw cardboard. There's no like paint for uh, for it to show up on. All right, so so that's three Hulks, one Kobe. Let's check out let's check out David Robinson down here at the bottom. Platinum medallion. These are numbered. Okay, we'll go straight here to the front, front bottom. Some dings here, all the way across, pretty consistent with the other three. And if we go to the back, where there is paint on the back now, there's, you know, there's color back here. Look at this. It's all across the bottom, all across. I'll pick another one. Let's see. Um, how about, okay. So here's two. Here we got 2001 Ladanian Tomlinson, 2001 Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne got a seven. You ready for this? What? What is that? I mean, I you could see that with the naked eye. There's no way. There's just no way I'm submitting this card. I have multiples of these cards. Why would I submit one that looks like it's, you know, chewed up on the bottom? Look at the back. It's the same thing. None of the other side. Look, look at this side. That side's perfect. That side's perfect. But that bottom, I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I can go. We can even do some Jordans. Let's look at a Jordan. All right. Let's find one. We got archives. That's a nine. We don't want to look at a nine because you know we know the nines. These have the coating. I did notice that if it had like the UV coating, like the newer, like the, these finest. Look at this. I get a nine. I got a ten. Upper deck card got an eight. Uh, these never compromise cards. Tough grades. They're massive cards if you can get a ten. Massive. But I got a seven, a five. This one, I guess, is altered because it didn't even meet the size requirement. And then this one's a seven. And I, I seriously got all these in the same collection. So I bought a collection from someone. They had all of these never compromised cards, okay? Sleeved or top and top loaded. They looked re really, really good, all right? Let's take a look at one of these never compromised cards, okay? Let's just see if it holds true. Top of the card, pretty fair, not bad, corners aren't bad. Side of the card looks good. Bottom of this one looks decent, looks better than the others so far. Maybe we're gonna see it, oh, there we go. There's the edge issue creeping in. I don't see it on this one. It might be really tough to see it in that with the light background. Let's look at another one. Let's see the five. Let's see what the five looks like compared to that seven. I don't I don't know. I mean this one this one looks okay on the front. I mean there's soft like soft corners and and whatnot. I'm assuming the back looks awful on this to be a five. I mean, I'll be honest, this this is probably better than that seven. Oh, okay, is that like scratch maybe? And see, that would have, it would have been something, I mean, I look at the front and back. I look at the front and back of these. It's really, it's just wild looking at these cards. Uh, let's go to, let's go to a gold medallion. Here we go. I think this is where you can kind of see some too. You got the bottom corners. bottom corner on that I mean look at that it just it, it isn't how it was submitted it just wasn't it wasn't submitted that way and I guess, you know, my point in this is, that, you know, there are 54 cards, I think. 54 total in this submission. We got, or 52. 52 cards total submitted. And so, 7.5, you know, whenever, probably my worst one was 8.7. And then the most recent one that I got was 9.0. And... I just don't, I don't think that I just relaxed and just submitted a bunch of cards. Um, that's not how I do this. I spent a lot of time looking through these, like a ton of time looking through these. And to think I could get, how many fives did I get? I got one Jordan five, two Hulk five. So I'll throw out the Hulk stuff because they're stickers so this is the first time I've submitted stickers I just submitted them just to see kind of how they would do with the other cards and I'll be honest every one of the regular like tops cards for Hulk look at this it's like they just went down and went seven 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 and then this one they decided to give a six I mean I 
I have I have like a box full of these, you know, and I picked the best ones, the very best ones. And I obviously, obviously can make it can get a 10 and nines on a 1985 tops card. So I know what to look for. I know like what not to send. I know I have a centering tool. I use everything. I use a lot of different things um, when I'm looking at at my cards when I'm going to do the submissions. Like, there's a lot of prep that goes into it. Um, so to think, just to think that like, you know, a 19 or a 2001 Reggie Wayne gets submitted for a seven. Like, I'm not submitting a Reggie Wayne thinking that I might get a seven. You know, I'm only submitting that thing if I think it gets 10. Same thing, Tomlinson. Think, same thing, Roethlisberger. Stockton and Reggie Miller here, like these guys. Sure. I mean, getting a 10 on a 1988 Fleer is going to be pretty tough because 10s, look at this. The 10 makes it a $1,400 car if it's a Reggie Miller. But let me show you. Let me show you this Reggie Miller. And I'll let you be the judge of it. All right. How do you think the centering looks on this? Pretty solid. The back will probably give you a better idea. Pretty solid, maybe a little top to bottom off, but more right to left is, is pretty good, all right? Let's look at corners. Pretty sharp corners, pretty good color. I mean, this could be one of those cards where they're just giving out a max of an eight. Or maybe a max is a nine, you know, and this isn't a gem. It's it's a it's a, a nine that turns into an eight. Stockton looked good too. Stockton I thought was better looking than the uh than the Reggie. I thought it looked good. Um, and then the funny thing is, the old one, 1981 Tops Larry Bird, gets an 8. And I sent this in knowing there was no chance for a 10. And I'll show you. The centering I knew was a little bit off, but I think there's a blemish on the card. If I remember correctly. Right here. See this in the corner? I knew these were there. So I knew there was no chance, no, zero chance for this to get a 10, you know, and, and really no chance to get a nine. But they gave this the same grade as the ADA FLIR cards. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, the rest of it was, it was a decent looking card, but the ADA FLIR cards were condition wise better than this 81 tops. You know, and that's not even just a natural thing. It's just I know it. I I looked at them all. I have the this is this comes out of a complete set of eighty one tops. So, you know, I've seen all the cards in this. I submitted a few more um, that I think would do okay, but uh, this is a tough set. They to get an eight in this is really really hard to do. Let's see. I want to see if there's anything else that I can, any other cards that I can pull up, but I guess the gist of the video is, do they use a scanner? Do they damage the cards? Or can they? Is that possible? Is it even possible? Is this idea that I'm coming with, is it something that, that can happen? Because if it can, then they seriously need to, uh, need to make sure that all the graders are on board and using consistent equipment, methods, processes, all of it. It has to be consistent or else this is this is just a really, really bad business model. Uh, really good for making profits, but uh, the point that I would make, that I'm gonna make to them, I'm actually gonna send them a link to this video. I'm gonna send them um, an email just going over some of the damage here and that is, um, it wasn't on the card whenever I sent it. You know, the damage along the bottom was was not there. It just wasn't. Like I, I know on those cards that I wouldn't have submitted those. Um, 
the other the other side of it is I can't crack and resub because the cards are damaged. So if you damage my cards, like what are we doing here? What what is PSA going to do to, you know, reimburse me or what can they do on this because it's not that I'm like upset with the grades. That's that's definitely not the point of this. Like I know that in this submission, I think I ended up with three or four, three or four tens, but they were definitely tens on the cards on the lower end of the spectrum. I mean, look, they give they threw me a bone on the very end here. They give me a ten on a Jamal Crawford gold medallion rookie card. You know, every other gold medallion. Let's let's just look at this. Every other gold medallion card. Ready? Eight. We got a shack in here somewhere. I've got an eight. I got a nine on one. Okay. An eight and a nine. And then when we get up into Jordans and Kobe's, we've got eight, eight, nine, six, six, seven, seven, six. So. I guess the Jamal Crawford card was just so much better than Kobe and Shaq and Jordan and Kevin Garnett, Allen Iverson, all these other ones <laughs> that I've submitted. Um, I don't know. It is, it's really, really wild. I know I'm kind of combining two conspiracy th uh, theories here. Um, and really this last theory, it's not a conspiracy. I know I didn't submit them that way. I know the cards weren't damaged. Uh, they never would have been submitted. Like I said, maybe one or two might slip through the cracks in a 52 card order. But I looked at every one of these, every one, and, and I submitted the best of the best. And even went through the centering tool, magnifying, all of it, right? All of it. So I know you're tired of hearing me rant. You're, if you're still watching, I'm totally amazed because you're just listening to me complain. It's like I'm going out yelling at clouds. Um, but take the information for what you will. If you submit to PSA, check the cards. Check them on the desktop. This is such a cool tool. I had no idea this was even here. Um, I was checking on the, on the app every time. So... Anyway, um, I'll be sending off an email to PSA, linking them to this video. I'm going to also ask them a few questions to see if they will give me answers on how the grading process happens. Um, but I will say this, if there's no resolution, and I'll keep you updated, I'll do another video. I'll keep you updated. Um, if there is no resolution, then I will no longer submit. Like I'm not gonna roll the dice. I'm certainly not going to roll the dice whenever we're looking at, you know, a thousand dollars worth of raw cards. I mean, that's just too, that's way too much money. 831 in grading fees. We're talking about almost $2,000 total and the cards have a chance of getting damaged, um, which I know there's a chance. I understand it. And maybe that I just got a raw, raw deal here, you know. Uh, but if there's no recourse, if there isn't anything that I can do where it's like, look, you guys damaged my cards. Look at my track record of submissions. I haven't had you know, a, a submission where, where it was less than like an 8.7 as an average grade. We're talking a full grade and a quarter below that you know, is what we're looking at. And that's just, it's not realistic to me, you know. Um, I spend too much time on it. I go through everything. I research. I mean, obviously, you have to take time to make these spreadsheets because uh, these are all done before I even submit. I, I make these out before I submit just to even make sure it's worth it. You know, why, why else would I send a $6 Garnet off, you know? Well, because you get a 10X if you get a 10, you know, which I know that's probably pretty tough. But if I get one 10, it pays for the grading of all three of them, you know? Also, these were all part of sets. So I sell sets and I usually sell them with a PSA 10 of the kind of big card in the set. So it makes sense for me to for me to do this with some cards. Other cards, I know it's just sending off lottery tickets, you know, like this, this Jordan. You know, this is a $25 card, turns into two grand if you can get a 10, you know. Um, 
there are a couple others in here that are kind of like, I mean, the Hulk Hogan was for sure. That's a lottery ticket. You know, the pop on this isn't much. I think it might be like a pop 14. There aren't that many. But, you know, I sent off three nice ones. And they're going to send me back three cards that have chewed up bottoms. And I'll do another video when they come in because I definitely want to see them. If, if PSA is going to send them, send them back. Um, I did pay. It is paid for. They should be shipping them today. But I definitely want to send off this email and say, whoa, 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 whoa. I've got three more orders there right now. And now I'm wondering if I need them to just send them back. You know, what, what do we do? So um, anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to talk about it today. I don't, I'm not going to let it ruin my weekend or anything like that. But let me know what you think in the comments. Follow, um, you know, follow the, the channel, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, it's at JNix uh, Cards. Um, my eBay store is at JNix Cards. Um, check it out. I put a lot of this stuff, a lot of these submissions go on there. Uh, I will not be cracking those and putting the raw cards on eBay. I can promise you that. And you can even go through my eBay listings and you'll see I explain any damage to a card. Um, and I always give the right condition on there. Um, so you can, you can shop with trust and confidence in everything that I submit, but I just wanted, you know, this, this sounds like, I mean, a lot of guys would probably go through and try to, you know, crack them open and, and sell like this Kobe ultra raw for 110. There's no chance. Well, I, this one is a not actually turned out nine, but like some of these other medallion cards, Selling for 20 bucks. A PSA 6 is, I, I don't think you get 20. I don't think so. Not when the 9 is 36 bucks. You're not getting that. I mean, I have to give that away. So, anyway. Um, all right. Well, thank you again for uh, checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll, uh, till next time.